Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to discuss a problem from module 3 of signal sign system and this question is based on Fourier transform. Okay, and this question is asked in December 2019 question number. Okay, and let us see the question the now. Fourier transform of x of t is x of omega derive the Fourier transform of dx of t by dt and this question is asked for 5 marks and within these simple steps we can score the 5 marks easily. Let us see the solution now. So in the question it is given that Fourier transform of x of t is of x of omega and we have to find the Fourier transform of dx of t by dt. So first let us write the inverse Fourier transform this is the formula to calculate the inverse Fourier transform inverse Fourier transform is given by x of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinity x of omega into e power j omega t into d omega and I am marking this as question num sorry equation number 1 ok. So if we differentiate this equation number 1 with respect to time that is dx of t by d t we will get the value as 1 by 2 pi is a constant and this integration will remain the same. So integral minus infinity to infinity and x of omega is a constant with respect to this time variant. So x of omega will also remains the same. The other term which is e power j omega t and which is depend on time that is if we write the differential formula for this e power j omega t we can write j omega j omega is the constant j omega multiplied by e power j omega t into d omega and here I am marking this as equation number 2. I am marking this as equation number 2. So on comparing equation 1 and 2, if we compare equation 1 and equation 2, this is the general equation to calculate the inverse Fourier transform and he, this is the function value. This is the function value, function value multiplied by e power j omega t into d omega. So if we notice here x of omega into j omega is the function value which is multiplied by e power j omega t into d omega which is integrated over minus infinity to infinity and the whole term is multiplied by 1 by 2 pi. So that is the Fourier transform of d in dx of t by dt is nothing but x of omega into j omega. So here this question mark can be replaced with j omega into x of omega. So within these two steps we can easily find the Fourier transform of dx of t by dt which is equal to j omega into x of omega. So this is about the Fourier transform for differential differentiation in time. This is one of the property of Fourier transform that is differentiation in time. Okay. So, we will see with another video in the next lecture. Thank you.